Hi, I'm George Cow. This may be one of my last regular uh, nature walk, but you know, dog walk um, business tip videos for a while. And the reason is because it's getting cold here and uh, it's a bit more unpleasant to, to stay still or to be slow in this cold weather and doing these videos. And also fewer dogs are out at the dog park, so uh, I need to be playing with Buddy more and uh, kind of keep moving. So I'll, I'll, I'll start doing more uh, indoor videos and I wanted to, to touch on this idea of content um, stages, okay? When you first start creating content, you might feel intimidated about doing these kinds of videos I've been doing or, or writing your own blog post because you're thinking, what do I have to say? Uh, so let me give you a couple of stages of content creation that might be helpful for you. The first stage, really, when you're first getting started, um, it's, it can be really helpful to curate and opinionate. What I mean is you simply, as you do your research on the topic of your passion, uh, you're going to come across articles, videos, um, podcast episodes, whatever, you know, infographics, things that are like, oh, this is so good, um, so useful. And what you simply do is share that on social media. Share whatever you find useful on social media. And here's the key. When you share it, don't just send a link and that's it. Share it along with at least one sentence or two, a paragraph if you can, of what you found most helpful about that article. And if you can, also add something that you think the article didn't address, but you also think is important. So that's called, I call that curate and opinionate. And that's a good first stage for content, getting into the whole um, habit of creating content, useful, useful and entertaining things for your audience that bring you prospective clients and kindred spirits, etc. So that's the first stage, con uh, curate and opinionate. The second stage is, uh, I'll call it casual content creation consistent casual content um, and this is kind of the thing that I've been doing uh, you know it's funny I've been coaching full-time for seven years but I didn't really start being consistent with my content until this year and it's well I, I should say probably two three years ago I started being a bit more consistent but that was more like you know one blog post every two weeks or something this year I started as you know doing these uh, Monday through Friday videos and it's been awesome. I mean, it's, I've grown so fast and so much as a result of doing casual, consistent content. Casual because it's, um, there's Buddy there. Casual because it's much easier. Uh, it's much less pressure. It's much less intimidating. Uh, I can just be out on my regular walk and just be talking to you, sharing something useful, uh, sharing something that I found to be helpful or a client or an audience member found to be helpful. So casual, consistent content. And you could do this through writing, uh, or videos or podcasts, anything that energizes you. Choose the medium that works for you. Don't necessarily copy me if you don't like what I'm doing. Just choose the medium that works for you, whatever that may be. And then the third stage is content series. So this is actually what I'm going to be doing again. I, I've done this a lot in the past years, but I'm going to be co coming back to this, this, this strategy of content series um, coming up in, in uh January of, of 2016 and that's to take all of my well take as much of my content as I can and serialize it so make it a step-by-step -step how to do authentic marketing or step-by-step -step how to do time management or something like that I'll, I'll be putting them into step-by-step -step series now going forward so that it can become a course and you could do the same thing if you if you first start with consistent casual content to we'll start with curating and opinionating so you can do your research and practice your muscles of saying something a little bit of something uh, on a regular basis and then start doing your own consistent casual content and then go to creating a series that can become an online course that you either give away for free or you charge for and you know some people I, I used to make full-time living basically selling online courses um, now I'm coming back and I'm going to be making it uh, either free or very, very uh, inexpensive so that more people can access it. So I hope this is helpful. Uh, you can expect more indoor videos from me from now on. And I'll probably be doing f less frequent videos because I'll be working on my series, my step-by-step -step series, and that's going to take more serious thought um, and preparation. So with that, I hope you've been enjoying these videos and I always welcome your comments and your questions. What would you love to learn if I were to put together a series? All right, be well.